The next installment in the Resident Evil series to get the HD treatment is Code Veronica X. And if Part 4 was your gateway into RE, get ready for a shock. Come on, let's go! What, are you scared? Unlike the more recent games, this older style of Resident Evil is very likely to be a radical departure for many newcomers, and a harsh reality check for those who wish the series would return to its roots. Set after the events of Resident Evil 2 and 3, Code Veronica X focuses on heroine Claire Redfield and her attempt to escape from the T-Virus outbreak on Rockford Island. Later on, the perspective shifts to her brother Chris and his quest to rescue Claire and track down the menacing Albert Wesker. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Wesker? Classic Resident Evil hallmarks all make their expected appearance, but the supporting cast consists of some of the most unusual characters in the series. It's hard to imagine the games controlled like this in the past, and it's even more difficult to tolerate them in this day and age. The fixed camera angles and tank-like character handling will take some getting used to, to say the least, and level design techniques that in the past successfully elicited scares now come off as annoying flaws. Yes, the inability to see around corners still stirs up some tension, but it's frankly more frustrating than anything else. Capcom also neglected to address some questionable design choices that can seriously put a damper on your advancement through the game. For instance, you can and will be thrown abruptly into boss battles with no escape, no ammo, and low health with no way to heal. Your option then is to revert to an older save if you happen to have made one. Otherwise, it's back to the start of the entire game. While the game is called Resident Evil Code Veronica X HD, we're still scratching our heads over where the HD part comes into play. Sure, the lighting is much improved and models are sharper looking, but like Resident Evil 4 before it, the game was simply upscaled to look decent on HD TVs. The voice work is some of the worst in the series, and the ridiculous plot unintentionally comes off as comical. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Resident Evil Code Veronica X is a basic port disguised as a major overhaul. Capcom included online leaderboards for the main game, as well as paltry trophy and achievement support, but the most earnestly competitive component, the battle mode, is neglected without any leaderboards. When you take all the missed opportunities into consideration, along with the game's inherent shortcomings, it's clear that Code Veronica X HD is one trip down memory lane that isn't worth taking. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it! <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait a second, what just happened?